what I want to ask you because you spent some time with the Texas Rangers and and people mm -hmm. loved you there. You go to the Yankees and was it a matter of just getting a bigger stage for people to realize that you're one of the best players in the sport or or did you get better last year? Uh, I, I felt like I got better. I felt like I always did a good job of just kind of constantly getting better um, every every off season, every year, um, every few games. But I mean, I, I owe it to a lot of people in Texas, man. Like I, I, I got better over there. Uh, and then New York, obviously, New York brings out the best in you. Um, you want to you want to be you want to be the best. Go play in New York because uh, the lights are a little bit brighter over there. You know, the stage is a little bit bigger. Yeah, you know, Jose, uh, first of all, congratulations. Amazing season. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks for joining us. I want to come back to that point on playing in New York. I always felt like mm -hmm. uh, I'd never played there as a home player, but as a visitor, mm -hmm. it really made you focus. Yeah. And it seemed like the home players, you're going to get booed, man. You're going to get, you got to focus mm -hmm. yeah. every day. It made you mm -hmm. better. Can you expound yeah. on that a little bit? Yeah, no, man. It's 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 the New York Yankees. You know, we expect to win championships, and so do the fans. Um, and you know, that's just how it's going to be. And if you, uh, some people, some people like it, some people don't like it. Um, I just so happen to love it uh, every day, wanting to win every single game. Um, I'm I'm okay with that. You know, I'm okay with going out there every single day and ex having an expectation of winning. Uh, I'm I'm totally fine with that. So I enjoy that. But New York, uh, New York's definitely different. Like you said, as a visiting player, you go in there and you know who you're playing. You know you're playing the Yankees. You know it's a big stage, uh, so you get pretty excited. But being on the home side, you're excited every day. We got some uh, numbers here that we want to hit our viewers with regarding your defensive accomplishments, why you won the Platinum Glove, and why Aaron Boone <laughs> uh, loved on you to everybody that would listen. Plus 24 defensive runs saved, tops in framing. Caught stealing numbers were through the roof. Amazing year for you. But what I want to ask you about is your staff, because I hear a lot of catchers yeah. talk about, you know, you're only as good yeah. back there as the guys you're receiving. Very different assignments for you when you have to go from, you know, dialing up for 98 for Cole to dealing with all the stuff that Nestor throws at you. Talk about uh, yeah. your staff in New York. Yeah, I mean, I, I got traded two days before the season, and my biggest concern was, like, I need to get to know this staff as quick as I can. Uh, I pride myself on being prepared every single day I go out there. So having two days to kind of get to catch everybody, I was like, all right, I got to get to know everybody's name first. I need to find out where they're from. Um, and then after that, what do they throw? What do they like to throw? What situations uh, do they use these pitches? Um, but yeah, it was, it was on the go, but I, I always say I owe a lot to Higgy. Higgy was there for me, man. When I needed, uh, I was like, Hey, does this guy throw this? Hey, what do you think about this guy? And he, Higgy was right there with me. Um, so I, I show a lot of appreciation for Higgy because like half the time I was like, Higgy, is this, is this, uh, is this Loisica? He's like, yeah, there's sinkers and, you know, sliders. So I'm like, okay, he's a good changeup, right? Yeah. So Higgy was right there with me the whole time, but um, getting to learn on the fly was a little tough, but once I got in the, in the comfort of it and, and kind of getting to know these guys better, I was able to, to game plan a little better and, and obviously talk to these guys and work better with them. All right, I'm going to ask you to take us inside a little bit, and I'm going to preface it with this. Like, catching Nestor, he's yeah. hesitating, he's shimmy, shimmy, he's doing all that. That's probably not predetermined. Does he ever change, like, you may have called a fastball and he decides mid-pitch to throw a changeup? Does he ever do that to you? No, 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 he doesn't do that. Not yet. We're we're not at that level yet. Maybe uh maybe this 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 upcoming year we'll be able to kind of like be on be on that kind of page. But the hesitation stuff he does it on his own. Uh, does for that the most throw part, you as a catcher? I know he's at, trying to throw the pitcher. Yeah, the yeah. Hitter, there I mean. was actually there was actually an at bat. Uh, I think it was against Devers in. I think it was in Boston. I remember because I was wearing gray gear, and he did his thing, and I was like, oh dang, kind of caught me off guard. <laughs> uh, I was actually afraid I wasn't ready. So, I mean, him and him, him like Nestor, just going to do his thing, man. And you just kind of let him do that. Well, he, he, I mean, he's a part of your mutual admiration society, too. He's one of your mm -hmm. biggest fans. We got mm -hmm. a tweet that he sent out helping celebrate yeah. your great year. All star check, yeah. hard work check, great human check. And now platinum gold glove winner. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, got got yeah. everything uh, in order there. Hey, um, I want to ask you about something else and kind of take you in a different direction here. We had mm -hmm. a social media image from earlier this offseason of career day 
at your son's school when you showed up in full gear. This must have been, I mean, what, those kids must have went nuts. Um, yeah, I, I saw, I saw, I've been, I've been, I've been wanting to say this because people were like, man, the people probably felt bad. The guys that, the, you know, the people that were there for career day, the other parents did an amazing job. Like I learned so much about electricity and what firemen do. And even a, a an 18 wheeler driver construction. Like I learned a lot. So I know the kids learn a lot, but yeah, I mean, I, I show up and I have, I'm, I'm full spikes too. I'm wearing full spikes. Oh. Like I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> going great. in there and you can hear me from a mile away. It sounds like a dinosaur walking, but um, I went all out. I had an eye black belt. Um, I didn't wear my cup, but people were asking me like, did you go full? I was like, no, nah, I didn't. No, nah, I didn't. I was like, not that far, but, um, but yeah, I went, I went all out and, um, you know, they enjoyed it. They were able to put on my mask and take pictures with my glove. And I brought a bat too. And they were just kind of asking me, you know, I think somebody called me an astronaut and I was like, no, I'm, cause they're four, they're four or five years old. Oh, and I was nice. like, no, I'm, I'm a baseball player. I play for the Yankees. And you know, they were like, Oh, okay. Yeah. I like baseball. And I'm like, yeah, you know where New York is? And they're like by Texas. And I'm like, we're, we're, we'll get to that at some point. Yeah, so. So good. You imagine, yeah. but you, you're, you're yeah, like your so dad is the guy who sells annuities for T. Rowe Price or something, and he shows up like with a sport <laughs> coat and a couple of loafers, and he got the, he got the gold glove winning catcher for the Yankees <laughs> next year. Like, you go first. Oh, that, that is so cool. <laughs> so great, dude. They, they so did a good job. The parents did a great job, and the parents did a great job. That is so cool. Hey, a couple more questions, real quick. You know, obviously, I, I want to ask you about Aaron Judge, and. When he has this incredible season going, mm -hmm. the reaction to you guys at 62 was amazing. But I want you to – was there a game where you were just like, this guy is ridiculous? There's obviously uh, something that stood out. Yeah, yeah. No, um, there was definitely a game in Baltimore that stuck out. I think he hit two or three. There was like a week in Baltimore where he was just hitting balls on top of the visiting bullpen. And – a couple people, um, I don't remember who it was. I think it was Harkey from the bullpen. He's like, I've never seen a ball hit that far in my life. And for this guy to hit two of them up there, like, it's amazing. And I always tell people, I'm like, when I was watching, at one point in the season, I know all of us were watching, not because we were wondering if he was going to hit a home run. We were just, we just wanted to see how far it was going to go. 